Hello my bitches, what's up, how's it going? We are doing wintery nails today. Um, so I'm using my Manny Boss liquids and this Merry Mint stocking stuffer from Rebel. I haven't made a bought got a lot of things from Rebel lately, but I really wanted this. And I'm so happy that I got it because it's gorgeous. And then we're using Eye Gel Beauty Baby Powder. And for this, um, I'm putting it on my middle finger. And I'm using the gel method just for this nail. I wanted to use my dip liquids for the glitter and all the stuff. But white, in my opinion, I feel like it goes on better with the gel method. Because... So, this was the first time that I had tried it. I was like, well, maybe it'll do it because, you know, the powder absorbs into the gel. And then you can go pour over an extra layer before you cure it. And I was right. I freaking love the way the white comes out with the gel method because I got two layers of... I only did two layers of it and it was super opaque, no patchiness or anything. So, recommend the gel method for white I do it looks really good so I just do this I'm going to do two layers of it cure each layer for 60 seconds scrub off with my scrubby brush and I am going to this isn't going to make a lot of sense but I'm going to clear cap it with my dip liquids so I did two coats of gel and the powder scrubbed it off then I capped in clear with um my dip liquids and then excuse me um I uh, drinking monsters for energy today and then I um I'm going to finish the nail with dip liquids, so dip top coat. I only did the gel method for the actual base. And so these are our colors. We've got ornament, mint to be, and what was this one? A um, moment. So all of them are mint, and I love them. They are really pretty. So, here's what they look like. This is Ornament. I feel like this is, like, summer vibes. I feel like any of these would be actually really pretty in the summer, too. Um, but this one just looks like a mermaid. And then this is um, Moment. Or is that one meant to be? I think that one's Moment. And then Mint to be. And so I'm going to be using Moment and Mint to Be. Yep. And I'm trying to figure out... I didn't exactly go into this with a plan. I just knew that I wanted to use them. And I felt like white would be going good with the colors. And so... Yeah, I'm going to do... Um, moment on my index finger and my ring finger and this is a very 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 glitter dense it is packed with the specks of glitter so I did have to after dipping and cleaning around my cuticles I tried to move around some of the glitter and I actually had to take a couple of them off with some tweezers and yeah, so it is very, very packed. And you'll see that it's already like kind of changing the shape of my nail. We had to do some filing when it came to these glitter nails. But it was fine because they looked gorgeous. So I also have a little trick here. When you're pressing down your litter, if you don't use, like, a plastic baggie or something, get some clear dip powder, stick your, <laughs> stick your finger in it, and then use that to press down the glitter, because that's gonna, the acrylic on your finger is gonna help 
the glitter not stick to you, if that makes sense. So just a little tip to put your finger in some clear acrylic before you press down your stuff, just in case your base is still wet, like it's just gonna, it's not gonna have any of the, especially like flakes or glitter, not gonna stick to you. And I clear capped those, look at that bulkiness. I did two layers of the glitter. We clear capped and I've got some bulky nails. Oh, I didn't clear cap yet, I'm sorry. Just having my clear sitting there kind of threw me off. I didn't clear cap yet. This was just my second layer. And here I am again, just, yeah, I'm trying to take some of those glitters off. And then this is mint to be. And this is a very gorgeous color. I This one, it's a favorite. It is so gorgeous. I'm in love with this color. I love, love, love the way it looks. I, I do. It's just, it's gorgeous. Meant to be. It's got silver, like, flake foils in it. And just finely, finely milded foils and flakes. It, I don't even know, guys. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'd almost recommend buying the the stocking stuffer just to get this color because that's how in love I am with it it's very pretty so I'm doing two layers of this also and that was on my thumb and my pinky and then now I'm going to clear cap and look at the bulkiness on the glitter nails I told you guys we had our work cut out for us just Ooh, the filing. I had to, when I edited out the filing part of this video, it was 18 minutes. And it usually only takes me like mm, 5 to 10, but 18 minutes just because of all the work I had to do on those nails. So, yeah. Um, if you can be patient enough for it it's worth it. But this was definitely one of those trust the process moments because I looked at this and I was like, oh, this is going to be one of those manis. I'm going to have to redo it. No, nope, I didn't. It came out good. So I am back from filing and see, I got them in a good shape. Um, this took me a hot minute to open. So I opened it off camera and um, I was just reading the back to see if there was anything special about them. There's not. They're just regular nail stickers. So this is what I got. There's a lot of snowflakes, a few reindeer, and then these little ornaments. I kind of was... So I used it. A, I used this little thing again um, a couple of manis after this, but I was kind of disappointed there wasn't any Christmas trees on there. But whatever. Anyways, I'm going to get this little guy off um bending the paper back so that I can have an easier time flicking up the sticker and picking it up these are very very delicate I did rip the bottom because this took me like three minutes to get off of there and I did try to get it off from the bottom too and I ended up kind of ripping it a little bit but it's fine you can really tell um once I ripped it at the bottom I stopped and went back to the top to try and get it got it done put it on the nail where I wanted it, and I'm going to take some of my activator and tap that around the edges of the sticker and then press down again. And that's just gonna help the sticker kind of melt into your dip so that it won't be bulky or have any texture or anything because sometimes stickers can do that. And I am very aware that it is a very subtle sticker on that mint uh, glitter situation. It's very hard to tell, but in certain lighting, you could see it. It was fine, worked out good. So I put that on after I had buffed my nails. Now I'm going to top coat. I got my activator already on, wiped it off. Now we are top coating. Um, you wanna do two to three swipes quickly 
and then wipe off your brush so you don't contaminate your liquids because you have activator on your nail and then touching your brush to that, it, the activator hardens everything. So you want to make sure you brush off your brush, wipe off your brush. So I am top coating all of my nails. And then at the end of this, and I am also capping my free edge. When my nails are longer like this, I also like to cap my sides. So you'll see that I'll do the free edge and then I do the sides like that too. I try and get under the nail there because sometimes um, when my nails are longer, I have more chipping at the corners. And I've noticed that capping the sides of the free edge helps. So little tip if you're having issues and you don't cap the sides of your free edge. Caps the sides of your free edge. It really helps. So after I'd finished top coating, I was looking at my nails and I didn't, like I liked them. I liked the colors and everything, but I felt like there was something missing. So I am going to try my hand at um, some sweater nails, so what I'm going to do, Manny Bell's top coat dries super fast. It is the fastest drying top coat I have ever experienced. And it is so shiny and smooth. I freaking love it. So I didn't have to wait very long for this at all. What I'm going to do is buff my nail. And this is actually the way I prefer to do matte nails anyways, is to go ahead and finish with the top coat and everything. That way you make sure you have everything sealed in and your free edge capped and protected and all the stuff and then go in with a buffing block and just buff them mat. I find that that is my favorite way to get matte nails. So anyways, um, it just happened to work out good in this sense that I decided I wanted to do sweater nails at the last minute. I was like, well, all I have to do is buff. So I just buffed my nail mat. I got my two-in-one Manny Boss gel, and I'm trying to create hearts. <laughs> so while it did come out fairly decent, I must say, it's not horrible for my first try. This is the first time I've ever done a sweater nail. So it didn't come out horrible but it is a little off center and not straight and you will see that at the end so i am just making my little hearts what i'm doing is doing two dots and then just connecting them in like a triangle situation um to do that now here's where i it didn't work out for me so on my first layer i used clear dip powder to pour over and I knew I don't know why I went in with a clear first I knew in my head I should have done white and I was like no I'll do clear no go in with colored dip powder it is since it's thicker it's not fi as finely milled as clear dip powder since it's a little bit thicker you're gonna get that more 3d texture than if you just use clear so I went back over my hearts, I traced them again, outlined them, and I went in with my baby powder, my baby powder from iGel Beauty dip, and it looked so much better. Then I got my other longer striping brush, and I created little stripes down the sides of the hearts, and then I'm going to get my dotting tool, and I'm going to make just little dots on the sides of the lines. And then I'm going to pour more baby powder over, and then I'm going to cure. And each time I cure, um, I'm doing it for a full minute, just making sure everything is set and good to go. And so here are my nails. This was, I actually, I really loved this Manny. I, I kept it on for about a week, I think. It was very, very good. And I went mini golfing with my husband and son. And it was glow in the dark and that glitter the one that's on my index and ring finger that ish was like very bright in the glow in the dark stuff so very happy anyways guys have a good one talk to you later bitches bye